Hello and welcome to the GeoPoker channel. Hope you're doing well. Today is Saturday and that means it is time for Saturday's special map. And for today's episode, I have chosen the map Unique Buildings created by Linksy, which contains strange houses, interesting architecture and beautiful buildings around the world. So that sounds like a pretty good map to me. I'm quite excited about it. I myself, I'm quite interested in architecture and I, I mean, I'm by no means an expert, but I do like to watch, you know, architecture documentaries, read the odd book about architecture. So I do like to occupy myself with that topic and who knows, maybe it can help a little bit. Would be great if it will. And um, yeah, I, I wonder what kinds of buildings Linksy has uh, thrown into this map. Maybe some Gaudi, some Liebeskind, Giri Zaha had it. I don't know. I'm excited to see. I hope you are as well. And you can play along if you want, or you can just sit back, relax, and enjoy. However, here we go. Okay, I think the focus is this building over there. Um, I'm just gonna look around anyway uh, to look for clues. Okay, we're in Spain. That's very helpful. Um, I'm going to focus on the building in a minute. I just want to make sure we are getting all the clues that are available. Um, Festa. Does that say the place name? It says something Sant. Ah. I'm not sure. I can't read that. I mean, we're most definitely in Spain. Oh. San Just Desvern, Barcelona. Okay, so I have a feeling that we are in Barcelona, but this is like a, a city quarter, maybe? I don't know. I, we can also see it here. San Just Desvern. Okay, so we are most likely in Barcelona or at least very close to it and we are looking at this building right here which is certainly uh, unique. Um, I cannot tell you the architect. I'm sure there are some architecture freaks amongst you who will know immediately. I'm, I think I've seen this building before, not in, in real life, but I think I've seen it before in images. It's probably quite famous. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know who the architect is. Um, I don't know, do you like it? I'm, I'm a bit, like on the one hand, I think it's very interesting. It's, it's obviously unique. It has also these little, uh, you know, semi-circle structures do give the building an interesting texture, but I think it's just too, too massive, you know? It's, it's just a bit too much, but yeah, this is not an architecture critic channel, so uh, let's not focus on that too much. Let's go into uh, Barcelona and see if we can maybe pinpoint this. Now, what was this thing called? Sant Just something. Desvern. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe that's a, a city quarter. We have Sant Juan. There we have it already. Sant Just Desvern. Um, we are at a, a pretty large roundabout here. And there are also some tram tracks, if I see that correctly. Um, so this shouldn't be too hard to find. Maybe this one right here. We do have a large roundabout. We do have the McDonald's also. I Weirdly, I don't really see the tram tracks. But let's see, we have the McDonald's here. So we would be here, right? That fits. So what we see here is this thing, Walden 7, or Balden 7. Yeah, this is certainly where we are. So that is 5,000 points, I hope. And if anyone knows who the architect is or has some backstory on this building, please put it in the comments. I would be very interested to know. There we go, 5,000 points, next round. Okay. That's very interesting. We have the British flag here. Chiswick, Ailes and Stout. All right, so we are in uh, the UK. 
it seems. We're driving on the left, yep. Um, we are in the UK. Let me just look around again and then we can have a look at our unique building. Um, a little bit more. Just looking for clues. There we go. Go. Dot co. Dot uk. Um, what do we have here? Is this? This looks like the 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 underground um, logo of the 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 tube in London. Is that like unique to London or is that all over the UK? I honestly, don't know. Because if it's not, then this would mean that we are in London, right? But then again, there is no tube here. It's just a bus stop. So probably this is a general sign for like bus stops and tube stops and stuff. Um, Sally Clark. I mean, it's certainly one of the larger cities in the UK. I think we can agree on that. Um, looks quite fancy also. The Kensington Dentist. Now, Kensington is a city quarter of London, is it not? And then we have the Churchill Arm... Army? Arm? I don't... Arms? I have no idea. Arms, yeah. Okay. And there he is, Winston Churchill. Um... Yeah, I mean, it's actually, I mean, it's a unique building for sure, but I think uh, what makes it so unique is mostly the amount of plants on that building. I mean, that's, <laughs> that must be a full-time job to maintain that. Wow, okay, I mean, it's an interesting building. I think it's quite beautiful also. And um, yeah, what do we have here? Is that the Irish flag? Okay, all right then, so... Kensington is in London, if I'm not mistaken. I hope that I'm not embarrassing myself here. Um, let's just see. I don't think I've had too many London rounds on GeoGuessr yet, surprisingly, considering it's such a large city, but I don't think I've had many rounds there. Come on, where is Kensington? There it is. Okay, um, what was this thing called? The Churchill Arms. I'm sure that this would be, um, that this would have a pretty, like, uh, like a marker that you could see at a quite zoomed out level, considering that this is a very important place, a very well-known place. Um, so we should be able to find this. Can we see the street name? Um, not sure. But the street is going north-south. Okay. So maybe not this one. And yeah, we should be able to find that. The, Churchill Arms. Is this still Kensington? I believe not. Here's South Kensington, okay. Let's see, this street is north-south. We have the Queen's Arms, but not the Churchill Arms. <laughs> Getting warmer. Mm. Still no luck. I mean, I hope this is actually in Kensington. I hope that's not a red herring. Because um, then I can look forever. Um, ah, where is it? Come on. I don't think we're in Kensington anymore. Okay, let's go back. Where is Kensington? Oh, there it is. Right there. Look at that. Found it. Perfect. So we are 
to the north of it. So right here at that intersection. Perfect, 5,000 points. Next round, well, so far, a perfect score. That is nice. Um, reminds me a bit of the turning torso in uh, Malmö, but slightly larger and they are twins. Um, looks like East Asia. Oh no, or is it the US? No, it's probably the US, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so we're in the US. What do we have there? Uh, might have to look at that again. Let me just look around a bit. Scotia Bank, okay. Hmm, might we actually be in Canada then? That's interesting. Autumn Health. Um, Does that say Mississauga? I think it does, doesn't it? Let me just get closer to the screen. I think that says Mississauga. Well, that's awesome. That's a very good clue. We also have um, the street name, which is Absolute Avenue. Um, well, perfect. I don't think we need to... Uh, we do not need to look uh, any further. All right, let's get into Mississauga. That is just perfect. There it is, Mississauga. And we're at the intersection of Absolute Avenue and Horontario Street. There's Horontario. Now where's Absolute? Maybe this one, nope. Eglinton, might have to zoom in a bit more here. Um, which one's this? Nope. Central Park, we have the Scotia Bank here. So we can't be too far. Let me just check again, this is Wait, no, the, just a second. So this is Ontario Street. This is going north-south. And if this is Absolute Avenue, it kind of ends here, right? It's more of a T-shaped uh, intersection, which is a bit odd because I don't see that anywhere. Am I missing something here? Because we did have the Scotia Bank up there, didn't we? Where was it? We have the Scotia Bank. Ah, oh, this is a bit confusing. Give me a second. I think there's something that I'm not quite understanding. Um. Oh, there it is, Absolute Avenue. It's quite small, actually, that's why. Okay, and then here we have the Absolute Condos. Guess that fits pretty well. And um, we are, um, yeah, there's not really anything there, but here we have this um, building here, this parking lot of sorts. Mm, doesn't really help much, but we're definitely north of these two towers, so. Yeah, about here. I think this should be within the 5,000 points range, and it is perfect. So far, a perfect score. Let's hope it continues. We are in South America, are we not? Looks like it. Um, Alcoholics Anonymous, all right. Um, I'm hoping for a flag. It looks like Spanish for sure. Um, Oniente, plenty of sharp signs, but they do not help much. Can't read that. Um, so can't read the currency there. Hmm. 
tough one. Maybe a URL up here. Don't think we're that lucky. Well, I guess this is the building that we're focusing on, this church. Um, very minimalist, but um, with a very interesting um, color combination here. I actually think it fits quite well, you know, kind of like taking the colors that you would see in this region and um, applying them to a um, very minimalist, very modern structure. I think it actually works quite well. I, I do like this building. Um, despite the fact that it doesn't really offer many clues, um, what else do we have? I mean, we have another street name. Hmm. What could this be? Ah, do we have a URL here? Come on, please. Don't think so. Does it say .com there? Ah, well, that doesn't help. Mm. Where could we be? I don't see many yellow plates, so I guess we can rule out Colombia. I honestly feel like we might be in uh, Mexico here. Um, but it's just a gut feeling. I don't really have anything to back that up. Do we maybe see some local football teams? We do have dollar signs here and we did have a .com address earlier also, which is interesting. So maybe we are in Puerto Rico. That could also be. Um, that might very well be, because if we have dollars and .com urls, yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to go for Puerto Rico here. Um, where is it? There it is. I'm, of course, going to go into San Juan. Um, street is going uh, east-west-ish. Kind of fits with the street grid here. Let's look for a church real quick. Not gonna spend much time on this because we might just be in a completely different country. But if I could find a church, that would be nice. Yeah, maybe this one right here. No, location doesn't fit. Uh, okay, I can't really seem to find any churches here, but I'm sure there are some. Um, maybe on this street here somewhere. Nope, it was in fact Mexico. <laughs> okay. Here we go. I guess they also have the Mexican dollar in Mexico. Jeez, I, I don't, honestly don't even know, <laughs> embarrassingly enough. But yeah, okay. There we go. We were in Mexico and that was the Parroquia de Nuestra Señora de Guadalupe. Okay. All right, the points were pretty disappointing. I think a lot of you will have probably gotten Mexico. Um, and not be uh, confused by the dollar sign. But whatever, perfect score out the window still, of course, trying to make the best of it. Um, and there we go. I think we have our Liebeskind building right here. I mentioned it in the intro, didn't I? This looks a lot like Liebeskind. I would be surprised if it's not. Um, what do we have here? Ah. Mm. I don't think I can read that. Um, yeah, we must be in the US here. Um, what do we have here? so many clues here. I'm sure we can figure out the city if we just look closely enough. Come on. Right cycle club. I mean, this building is so famous that probably some of you will just know from the building which city we're in, but that I do not know. Oh no, wait, look at that. We're not in the US, are we? Uh, 
Okay, we're in Canada here. Okay, let's keep looking. Casaloma C A Ontario. There we go. Okay, so we're in Ontario. Um so we can probably uh, narrow it down then. Uh what else do we have? Um Oh, I see there's the maximum sign. Yeah, that was the first clue right there towards Canada. All right, um, so we're in Ontario. So we're probably, well, just a second. Is Ottawa in Ontario? It is, right? So it's either Ottawa or one of these cities. I'm gonna go into Toronto though, considering the size of the buildings here, it's probably Toronto. Um, do we have any street names? Can't read that. Mm, can't read any of that. There seems to be a pretty big hotel, but I can also not really read that. Um, yeah, but the street is going east-west. Um, and it must be in downtown. And um, let's just see, maybe this building will just uh, be visible on the map, you know, just from its uh, outline. I don't know if this is a clever way to go about it. Um, I mean, it's quite a large downtown area, isn't it? I'm not sure if this is the most clever way to do this. Um, is there really no street name? We have, what is this? Museum Dental. Uh, I can't believe that we have no street name or anything like that. And we can't even see what this building is supposed to be. I mean, it's obviously a museum, but it's like the, seems to be something archeological. Um, Oops, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I just can't read any of that. We have a Louis V store back there. <laughs> Maybe that will be visible on the map. I don't know. And here we have Museum Tavern. I don't know. I don't think that helps much, to be honest. Um, I think I'll just have to scan the map for this, as annoying as it is. And probably some of you will have gotten this immediately, but I... I really don't know. I mean, I hope this is in Toronto. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. I think I'm already too far out. I have to be quite zoomed in to see the outlines of the buildings. Hmm. This might take some time. I'm already too far out. I'm not sure. I mean, I think these these yellow things mean that it's like you know more more urban or higher or something, or there's, that there's a lot of like um, office and retail space. I don't know how to interpret that, but see again here there seem to be a lot of stores and some larger buildings. Let's check that out. see there's quite a lot of buildings here I uh, and a lot of stores <laughs> there's obviously a lot of buildings so I do like that um, whoops I didn't want to click there um, a lot of stores ah look at that that's the Louis V store so wait so the the Louis V store was towards the no, towards the east. So we, wait, is that it? Look at that, I, I do like the shape of that building. I think this might be it. The Royal Ontario Museum, huge range of culture and nature exhibits. That sounds pretty good. Let's see, do we have our, what was it? Museum Tavern and our Museum Dental over here. Um. I don't see it, weirdly. That doesn't 
quite seem to fit, but this building, it just fits perfectly. Look at that. And then there's the Louis V down there. Then that hotel is right here. Hmm. I mean, maybe this is old uh, imagery and the the shops have changed since then. Also here, what do we have? We have some old building there. The Royal, I, I think this fits honestly. See, and we have this little park situation in between. Yeah. I mean, come on, we're here. It must be that. I, I think the stores must have changed over the years. Um, this looks, this looks right. So I think I'm quite confident. And here we go. 5,000 points. Let's view the summary. It was four perfect guesses, two out of which were actually really close to each other. And well, the Mexico one, <laughs> let's forget about that one. But yeah, this was overall uh, quite a bit of fun. I hope you enjoyed it too. And if you did, feel free to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And um, yeah, I hope to see you around for the next video, which will be an urban world I think no moving, I have to check the schedule. <laughs> However, until then, have a good time. Bye, bye.